Hey guys, Tarzan here coaching a Diamond 4 returning player. Feel free to introduce yourself, Shadow. Hey, what's up? Um, I just play Jungle. I've been main in it for about like 7 months now. Picked up the role a little while ago. Been watching your videos. Sounds good. So which game or game should we be watching today? You said both Echo um, games? Yeah, just the two most recent ones. Do you want to start with the losing one or does it not matter? Yeah, let's start with the loss. Alright, I'm going to start sharing screen. So standard runes. Okay. I would probably go MR runes this game. I think that a lot of magic damage, but. Yeah. What do you think went wrong this game? Um, the Zac got really fed. And I don't really remember what happened this game. I just remember the Zac was really strong by the end of it. Yeah, I think Zac's just a pretty busted champ right now, but. There are ways to like get ahead. Unfortunately, Echo isn't the strongest early game champ, so it's a bit harder to actually invade him. Yeah. Without prior in lane, so. What? Where do you think the game actually like, starts going south? Looks um, there slowly. were a few mid game team fights where, um, I'm pretty sure our top laner was just spamming FF votes, or one of us were. It wasn't me, but somebody was spamming FF votes and was just rage splitting. I think so. We couldn't really <laughs> team fight it. Makes sense. Um, typically, you see, you'll see Blitzcrank players always look for early cheese just for like a flush or. Yeah. First blood, even in higher MMRs, always happens. So just make sure to well, look clear your team to defend. Both entrances are worded, so that's pretty good. Yeah. You got your red trinket as well. Do you typically start blue on Echo or do you just want the, like, the stronger leash? Um, I usually start bot side just because echo clear isn't really the best, so. Right. I agree with that. But I think you could have probably just, like, the only thing I'd change is, like, just taking MR instead of armor. His base armor yeah. is in the lowest, and four different yeah, sources of magic damage, minus Yasuo. Yeah, Yasuo even went, like, tank Yasuo early, so MR would have yeah. been nice. So you are dragging it like I told you to in our previous session. W, have it walk towards you, great. So I did red raptors. Sometimes you want to get like your mid laners and maybe ward enemy raptors or something. You can like communicate yeah. that. I can't see what you're typing, but against champs to start red, so I'm mostly just full clear red side. This guy skipped this crook, so. You would have potentially been able to tell he went top side based off his movement if you didn't drag him to the brush. Yeah. And I'm not really too sure about what the echo path is. I think this game I went um I usually go blue, grom, wolves, and then raptors red. I don't really do the clouds because my clear is so slow that I won't even make it to scuttle in time. Right. As long as you're I, I don't think it really matters like uh, as long as you're not dying early game everything's fine you can go for double buff grunt level three gank you can go for a full clear or just five camps plus crap for four it doesn't yeah. really matter what you do as long as you don't die that's like the most important thing is echo do not die you can get like a gank in maybe but you're pretty low off your foot first clear you see team and walk out early into word so that just also cuts down your options you're both magic damage champs you probably has mr runes Oh, he has, he's, he has armor, surprisingly. Yeah. He also, his build was really weird. I'm not really sure what he was doing, but it ended up working. Interesting. So you guys have Pryo mid, they have Pryo top. Yeah. I'm assuming you're going to see Zach here, and it's going to be a fight, and you're going to die. Yeah, they end up blowing my flash here. Even dying. That's a bit unlucky, but yeah, like I said, <laughs> the wave is just in a spot where Malka can't really contest. And I mean, it's a top lane t t Ignite yeah. Teemo, right? So, even though your mid laner had Pryo, 
since they have the mana advantage, you also can move first anyways. And just cut your right laner from moving, yeah. so... Well, we know how broken that goes. If you don't... If you get to just free farm your jungle item, you're gonna be massive, yeah. so... Yeah, that's why I started playing him. It's okay. So let me tell you why Bog Crab is 10 times better than Dop Crab. A, you get your reset, you get an extra component for your item. B, yeah. you have a higher chance of actually getting a crab. And C, your blue side camps are spawning, so you're going to be closer to them. Just for those three reasons, it's just always better to go for the reset there. Or you could just send Krugs, but I'd still say reset's better to make sure you don't get double crab. Double crabbed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like their bot lane was moving. I think if you stayed for Krogs and like didn't actually fight this, it would have been worse. So I think Reesling was the best play there. Yeah. Based off how bot lane was also going. Dropping that pink where they know you're there unless they're uh, very stupid. Yeah, I think they actually don't notice it, but then Alistar starts to lock up, so they just back off. I made I made this mistake myself. It's like all my camps are up. I'm playing a scaling jungler. I'm just at the best. I'll get summoners. They will never die to this gank. Yeah. It's just always better to go for these camps unless you're playing with a pressure jungler, like Lee and and Elise Rex. I something like actually get something done. It's just always better to go for consistent income. Mm -hmm. So, So I don't know how to really explain this, but I have to understand, like, it, let's say you went for a gank bot, you killed enemy bot lane, or just got nothing out of it. Yeah. When when you're killing these camps, you're getting respawn, right? And therefore, they're going to be on the map faster, and you're just creating, like, an extra lead on the enemy jungler if he's not doing the same thing. Like, these camps are just going to be into the game more consistently, and that's, yeah. like, extra consistent gold and experience you'll get. And that's why, like, this is typically how I get level leads on enemy junglers, right? I just clear my camps off cooldown, so they're just back into the game faster. I have that extra like threshold of experience and goal to work with compared to enemy players. Okay. So if there's nothing else to do, like like right now, now they're trading. Now you can potentially go bot. You got the pink ward out. Their wards, their trinket wards have probably expired. Any second wards, they haven't shopped either, so they're looking pretty vulnerable. Like maybe here you can maybe look for a dive bot. But yeah. You have to always like bear in mind they have teleports, not this game. They have globals, not this game, but. Yeah, I think I was worried about Zach because he's just a really good early game ganker, so I can just counter it pretty easily. Yeah. We just know where Zach is, basically. Yeah. So, I'm not really sure what you're doing here. I think you could have definitely yeah. ganked bot. I think I go for something here. I don't remember how this turns out. Oh yeah, we get them. Pretty good, I guess, but I think you could have gone there a lot earlier. I don't think you have to place this pink either, because you already had a pink here. I think yeah. it, like if you really want this gang to work, you go and place the pink here and then go from behind them. Yeah. But also they'll know you're there, but I don't know. It just felt like they were already overextending, you just walk behind them, and if Alistar synergized properly with you there, then it would work out anyways. Mm -hmm. what I'm doing here, mid laner's not there. Yeah, Syndra's top, you should just go walk mid and go eat the wave. Yeah, I think I farm ground instead. Since it's not a cannon wave, it's not the worst, but... As a jungler, it's just always better to get the... <laughs> free creeps. Because you lose less HP and use less mana. Yeah.
At this point, I just like to see full clear, get your jungle item, and then that's that's your big power spike. Because your top yeah. side camps are also up. Looks like that's what you're gonna do. It's good. Also, I noticed you don't use your second smite charge often, like you're there, finally. Yeah. I've noticed that sometimes I like to hold my smite for a bit too long. As long as you have two, if it's not like post dragon spawn or baron, elder, or whatever, it's not the worst to use your smites, even if they're their combat smites. Once you have your jungle, your blue or red smite, it's not bad to still use it on your camps. Okay, good. That's something you learned pretty well. I think you could have done Krugs here as well, just for level 7, just to okay. guarantee that extra level. Yeah. Because there's not really much else happening on the map. Mid's pushed in, bot just reset, top lane, big wave, so. Yeah. yeah. The item advantage is nice, but also like the level advantage would be nice to be on the map because now you're like you're level six. You're stuck at level six. Whereas you can be level seven for a specific gank. Mm Extra point in Q might be. I think it would have been enough to kill Zog actually. Sure this fight actually goes really well, and then past this point it just goes really badly. Mm. Not sure how we threw it. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, I messed up there. I accidentally went through the wall and I just flashed over to make sure Zach didn't steal it. Interesting. That was just like a like a really bad mistake there, but. At least we still got the dragon. Yeah, if you had flash here, I think you'd probably just kill yeah, Kaiser. Yeah, I, def I definitely could have killed her if I didn't do that. Oh, you still killed her. It's good. I didn't need the ult. Right? Not a fan of the ult either, but yeah. But yeah. now that you kind of got yeah, some items now, that's good. How much ping do you play on again? Last time I coached you was a live session, right? Or did I ask oh, you? Oh, um, no, last time I was VOD, I think. Um, my ping is really low, it's like 15. Your ping is 15? Yeah. Okay, then you should never like preemptively use your ult like that, ever. <laughs> yeah, you, I don't you, know what I was You'll thinking. always get yeah. it off, no matter what. I realized it like two seconds after I did it, but I was wrong. It's okay. Learning process. Side gets the crab, top gets pushed in. <laughs> Zach players kind of love to gank mid, but I don't think yeah, it's something you could have read. Right. Since you're already here, should probably just push this wave then with yeah. your Q. So plates are down like a minute and a half. You're running to blue with 2,000 gold, okay? Which means I guess you want to go for a play or reset right after. I think I reset here. I would like to see a reset here and then just re and then run to your blue maybe, but... Yeah, that makes more sense. It's nice to get the blue off the map so you get it faster, but when you have this much gold, it's just for the future fights. At this point, it can be potential game changers. Mm -hmm. I think the main issue this game is you guys are heavy AP and Sivir's yeah. a bad champ. Yeah, our Sivir was super useless later. She didn't get any gold. Makes sense. Did we kill them both here? Pretty sure. 
I missed my key really badly, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Okay. Sense. It looks like an L. I think yeah. you. I think I live actually. Yeah, it's not bad. I think the force there is just really bad, but I mean, you can't really stop your teammate from tower diving when we have no vision of their whole team. Yeah, I was, I was playing a bit aggro there, but. Okay, I noticed you use your E a lot preemptively, which you, sh which you should never do, honestly. Yeah. I definitely could have waited to see if the key hit him twice there. At this point, like your only escape is your passive auto attack, right? So, or just blocking yeah. your passive. So, so. At this point, like all your camps were up top side, which is why I would like prefer to see you do your camps as well, because again, you're playing a scaler, and yeah. this place, is, this place is just super force, right? There's no point. Why force when you're gonna outscale anyways? Well, yeah. your champ outscales, but I don't know if your team comp outscales. I think their comp's a bit better late. I'm not really sure. I guess I'm just prepping dragon here, just waiting on it. Yeah. If you are escaping these camps and, and you're actually putting the momentum on Drake, that's good then. So you're getting yeah. something out of it, but it looks like you guys are gonna turn. Pretty sure this is where the fight goes really bad. Yeah, I can tell. We use everything on the enemy support. So yeah. now you guys will get wiped. I mean, it, it's just a team call after all, but. Yeah. I think it's pretty common knowledge, like you guys don't have to all in support ever. That was the Drake was free. Just finish Drake, let them come to you, or just disengage. Okay. So. At the very worst, like maybe one or two people die, but I think it's still worth the mountain drake at that point three or four of you died only killed the support and we didn't even get the drake yeah. so it's always better to like kills help you become stronger for objectives whereas objectives help you win the game like kills do help you win the game don't get me wrong but you don't need kills to win at all yeah for sure these are worth more than kills in the long run i think i just thought that we were gonna win the fight but i guess i played it badly doing all that to the support I think it was your whole team went for the support, which is the prime issue, but you can see how under leveled you are going for these objectives at the wrong times with your camps being up, which is like the first thing I tell most junglers. If you're not sure when to gank, just always get your camps out of the way and then look for a play on the map or just reset and run on the map while your camps are respawning so you're at your strongest. Because like your red's been up for like, I think last time I coached you had a game where your red was up for like 15 minutes, you never took it. Yeah, I remember that. And this play was like close to the wire, like. Does he even die here? No, he actually no, lives. He so like, see the plays we're going for. Like, we're losing three v ones. Yeah, like just... my is up and everything. Yeah. All your camps are up. Your double buffs are up. This is where Echo excels. Just <laughs> double buffs items. Yeah, there were a lot of force plays in this game. Yeah, for sure. No one's building grievous wounds for y'all. So than this guy. I mean, every one of the team is pretty fed except bot lane, the lane you can't, but... Mm -hmm. I just realized your Alistair has barrier, what? Yeah, I know, that was really weird. I don't know, it might have been a mistake, I thought, but I don't know. Interesting. Let me just write that down.
Hey, Malachi goes in. Should be at least one kill, maybe. Yeah. Like, see, in these scenarios where, like, their jungler's doing Rift, and then you have 1,000 gold, you can still go on the map, right? You have double officer strong, you have, like, four kills worth of gold, but you know, like, where the enemy yeah. jungler is and where their team is, so they can't really respond to you. So going for those mm -hmm. hyper-aggressive plays is always good, but you don't have to, like, tur dive bot when you have no vision and such, and mid has no prior the entire game. Yeah, I usually like to play for the aggro on Echo. I mean, not, like, early, because it's pretty bad. With his ult, it's pretty slippery. Yeah. At this point, you have 2k though. You should definitely look to uh, reset or do crab and reset if it's even free. Yeah. Which I think you're gonna mm, meet Zach. Yeah, this is. I don't like this. You're just always using it. It's pretty low CD, but like if you ever get caught with your E down and no R, no flash, you're just gonna die for free. Yeah. You always want to lead with like your Q or W. Even like using your W is better than using your E, I'd say. Okay. I think this game you should have definitely gotten Morello because no one else on your team is building it. I don't even, this is probably like a void or something. Maybe builds Morello, I don't know, but no one on your team has Grievous and Zach Yasuo, which is pretty insane. Mm -hmm. So I'd skip the Lich Bane and go Morello I'm first. I'm pretty sure I, I told our. Um... So we're gonna get like executioner later. I mean, obviously I should have got um, anti heal as well, but right. I don't know. Cinder top with no TP. Timo recalling with no TP. That runs walking bot. Yeah, I mean it's just for Drake. It's like. Yeah, team gets caught. Would have done much if I was there. Uh, yeah. He ends up saving the ass. Though, which was really bad. Well, I saw I think he could have died. There's no ignite without this guy, and he has barriers. So yeah. I think y'all sort of just healed anyways. So that conquer stacked and what's on doesn't really matter. Is there anything else like important in this game we should watch, or does it actually? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just a loss from here. Let's get forward. Yeah, I think there was stuff you could do better, but this is definitely a champ select loss. Quadra yeah. AP into who Zach, he also. Yeah, that was a bit rough. End up killing us. Now your support also has barrier. With you Baron. I guess it's a fail. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll just skip forward. Yeah, I think you could have maybe just built more elbows. That's the best thing you could have done. I mean, the game seems pretty unwinnable champs, like, anyways. I think at least gotten to the point where, like, draft is a lot more important than actual skill. Decision making and drafting is just a lot more essential nowadays. Mechanics don't matter at all most of the time. We just lose one more fight and we end the game from here. I'm gonna watch that fight, I guess. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Actually, I'm not winning 2v1, but. That's it for that game. So, yeah, that game was like 100% dodge at champ select. Quadra AP into that team is a bit unplayable. So, yeah. Game one. There you go. Let's go to game two. Yeah. I think this game you could have maybe gone conquer, but it depends on what your play style is, what you prefer. This was definitely like an angle to go conquer, tenacity, yeah. triple I've melee from uh, the on Echo. I've only ever done Dark Harvest. I don't really know which ones are viable on him. I've seen like a lot of different ones, like Halo Blades even. Yeah. 
Um, if you're getting several melee champs, I'd say it's better to go Conqueror. And if you have like Heart CC, Shen, Warwick, Leona, then. Okay. But it's. You have to like understand the playstyle, learn how to stack your Conqueror, learn how to stay in fights, yeah. keep it up, etc. This one we got like a big lead and then we almost threw. So I kind of want to know to prevent like that ever happening again. It was a bit okay. scary. We had like a 10 0 Yorick early. I don't know how he got that fed, but he almost ended up throwing it. It was kind of sad. I mean, generally, your comp is just kind of bad. There's like no yeah. real hard CC. It's just thrash. The rest are just like, I don't know, the champs are weird. Yeah, their comp was for sure better this game. But we got a really big lead early. Jax wanted you to start blue with. Oh, the octave your blue. Oh my god. Interesting. Yeah. I should end up being better for you guys. I'm not a fan of the W though. I don't think that ever works. Yeah, I don't know. They don't have it for the camp. I think it's like a few seconds late. Right? Yeah, it's like five seconds, but it's okay. I hate when supports flayed away, not into us. It's so annoying. Yeah, so it's hard to kind Every of... Thresh player does that. So most likely you should know that if Shen's in lane level 1, we're starting right level 1. And can like yeah. base your pathing off that. Well, actually goes to your red. Yeah, he ends up getting it, but since I do my uh, here, path except minus Krug, I agree anyways. Also, I'd always recommend smiting the uh, Gromp. Oh, wait, I don't do this path. I also, do path this game. Yeah. You should always smite Gromp, though. Okay. Gromp is like the camp to smite. Yeah. Again, kind of using our spells, we don't have to. If you're like getting invaded now, you're probably dead. Potentially. So, just always want to keep your spells. Like, Cinder even had a word on your Raptor, so. If Warwick's decided to stay and the heck gets a stun, you're dead. Another game, die yeah. early game, as I go. I definitely say games like these where, like, I think I told you this earlier. If you're playing like, against Lee Sin, Rengar, players that will cheese, instead of warding this, just, just ward your own red. Okay. And just do your blue. If he doesn't invade your red, like red to red, do your blue so I get level three. Maybe you have pressure mid bot. If you're lucky, this game you actually somewhat do have pressure in both lanes. You'll be able to kill him here. He'll be he'll have level advantage. He'll only have red buff advantage and have be uh, limited to his mana pool. But you know yeah. they can be playing least or something, so they don't actually d depend on mana. But you get to see your advantage. You get the red buff, take slow, etc. So I'd say yeah, always word your red against these cheesers, Rengar. Lisa in okay. Warwick apparently. So Yeah. I'm not sure why you never smite. <laughs> I think smiting is your Yes, you did. Yeah, that's weird. I usually smite the big crowd. You should always early game is like the time to use your smites because you want to be able to be on the map as fast as possible, reset as fast as possible. Yeah. Cause like while you're walking to your next camp, you're probably gonna get two smites and you're just not being efficient. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, game two. If you watch my stream, maybe in some games you can see like when I use it and when I don't, but. Yeah. It's pretty evident when you should and when you shouldn't. Yeah. I took your Gromp on spawn, very unfortunate, but mm -hmm. you should know he's in the area because it just spawned. Because you might see him. Yeah. 
That's why I always go for Gromp first, if possible. Like, I should never be able to do that with this bot lane reset. Mm -hmm. So just walk to Gromp, then Wolves. But okay. if you don't know what works, then on the map. Securing the Gromp's worth a lot more than Wolves. Yeah. Yeah, if you had Conquer here, I'm pretty sure you just out duel Warwick, but you still play that yeah. pretty well, so it's fine. I think I should have helped him shop here. Uh, he has his maiden. Typically, yes, so, yeah, but <laughs> when you have the rare occasion of having Yorick mid, I guess you don't need to. Yeah. But just even getting the XP and the, the slight gold is beneficial for yourself, you're playing a scaling champ. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, always make sure to push in those ways if you can. So when you're playing champs like Echo and Garthus, you're already like mostly relying on your camps, getting that extra source of experience from lanes and such, like the objectives, the lanes is very, very helpful. Yeah. I think you probably, here you got yeah, cancelled, he still kills. Oh, yeah. I think it'd have played a bit better, but. You should always walk in diagonals though against Syndra. Okay. Yeah, you can either use your E to dodge it, but I typically just walk in diagonals and force her to either yeah. stun you or him. We know she has no flash, should be a free kill most of the time. If you can dodge the stun. Which I mean it, is, it ends up being a free kill anyways, but So far, so good. I mean, you had a pretty good early game. You're not farming as much as you should be. Where I kind of cocked your early game, but yeah. Should be full clear into Runic here for sure. You put enough pressure on the map of the stage. Multi-camping, good. You should insta-smite this. Just get to pass the range earlier. Yeah, I think I might not smite this up. Oh, wait, I might actually. Oh my... You can't be serious. Yeah, I need to use my smite. <laughs> this is weird, because the first time I coached, I think this is like one of the important topics I went over too. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't actually use it. I didn't... I never noticed this. You realize you have two smite charges, right? Yeah. So, why are you running That's bot? Really weird. I don't know. Push mid or just form your top? I think pushing mid is a lot better here. Yeah. I was playing really tired here. Why am I still running bot lane? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what my thought process was in it. Yeah. If you've watched my stream recently, I've been playing a lot of Karthus and High MMR, where like your laners actually want to roam and like put pressure. I'll just go to their lane and eat the map as well. And then if the enemy jungler wants to react to my laners as well, I'll go take the dragon or the rift as well. So this is why like the scaling junglers are really OP. They're really hard to punish if you are actually playing properly and not dying. You're not dying at all this game, but you're not actually putting the right emphasis and pressure on the map with the champ you've been given and the uh, mid laner you've been given. You have an eight and no mid laner who's yeah. going bot for you and doing your job. So. You're level six and a half. He's level nine. There's a reason for that because he's still getting the XP mid that you should be getting, and he's. I mean, he is really fed as as well, but you shouldn't be level six this game with the amount of free farm you should be able to accomplish. Really. Yeah. 
Yeah, using your smite is definitely gonna be a uh, important thing for you. Reset 2k gold. Yeah, power spike. You have to reset. Warwick gets the rift, so we should know he's top. We should be pinging him, pinging him to back off top. I guess yeah. he just dies here. No, well, he lives okay, but even then, <laughs> he shouldn't oh, ever. No. If you just spam ping, there's a higher chance of him not dying. It's not a guarantee, but there's always yeah. a chance, right? Just spam pinging. I mean, Jungler gets. Rift, gets Dragon, we know where he is, right? There's a chance he can go for a gank as well. What the hell? I guess he actually still died. How do I mute their pings? They're so loud. I don't know. There's a sound tab for pings. Two on two smites. Yeah, I... The okay. faster you smite this and get on the map, you can go to their raptors, their crows. This guy's been top slash for so long, you only assume his bot side camps are done. Or up, I mean. Or you can look for like a bot dive or something even faster, but we're just not getting that extra time frame of... to put pressure on the map, you know? Yeah. Oh. What am I doing here? I don't know. Yeah, I'm playing really badly this game. I must have been like tired or something. <laughs> My mechanics are just not here. Let's watch that again. So that was... Okay. Thresh decides to lantern you instead of his ADC that's being engaged on, so... The moment you see this lantern, you get off the pink. You should al al always also be autoing it diagonally so you can move towards bot side earlier. You're autoing defensively, but you want to get to this fight as fast as possible. We know works on the map, so there's no like fear here, unless Syndra's like yeah. already here. But anyways, you can't really die to Syndra. You want really expecting them to engage with the pink there on me since it's like two v three. No, welcome to uh, MMR. You're playing in, so you have to always be autoing as close as possible to the bot lane if they actually do engage, which you do. So I'm not sure why you're walking backwards, but do you think I don't even think he condemned you. Did he? He did. Okay. Well, even though you should be still inputting towards him. Yeah. Wasted E, and I get hit by stun and die. Yeah, you should always be spacing in the position where you're not able to be hit by Syndra spells. You should know her range and such at a certain point. So. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you're walking to her, it's a defensive stun and you die when you only have to, but if you walk away, she has to go for like a max range stun or a flash stun on you to kill you. Yeah. Where you have like more time in the window to react to. Okay, good timer on the Drake, that's good. None of the good camps are really up, your blue buffs are spawning. So, and Clodrick's pretty nice on your comp. Mm -hmm. Blue buff side spawning. I think York has to be here, it's so whatever. Yeah, I guess I conquered would have been a lot better this game. So I think if you try it out, maybe you'll like it, but try to get in games where, like games like these where they have like a lot of hard CC, several melee champs and tanks. Okay. And then should I take domination secondary then or still inspiration? Yeah, domination. You go cheap shot and ravenous hunter. Ravenous hunter is the best rune in the game on Echo, or on okay. most champs really. Just taking your raptors.
It's not really much for you to do. I'd probably just do Krugs reset by tier 2 boots or something. Yeah. So you're kind of walking through the jungle with half health. You can grab this. Nope. Okay, Ram just wandered her blue and sub. Okay. Yeah. If Syndra wants, you probably don't get this blue, but he's pretty stupid, so. Yeah. <laughs> Shen is also very stupid. So you see why the play is like based off them being bad and not like an actual good invade. Exactly, yeah. Like you're walking through the jungle with half health and their laners are pushing lane without even walking when they don't have to even push the lane. Mm -hmm. So like see how you're using your spells when you don't have to? Just by holding your spell you're being a lot more efficient at using it like preemptively. Yeah. That's one of your biggest flaws, I'd say. It's like just when you're like, I know you're a jungle man, you probably don't play lane, but if let's say I'm playing Syndra, I use my Q on the wave to push. Even though it's a really low CD, the enemy laner has a window to like walk onto you and like trade because she knows your Q's down for X amount of seconds, right? Similar mm -hmm. with junglers, like especially because junglers aren't as strong as soul laners. If you're using your spells like in a way where you don't have to and they actually can close the gap on you, gap close onto you, then you're gonna be way more vulnerable because you're using your yeah. your slow as like max range slow or something just for poke or something. You can easily get punished for that. Using mm -hmm. your easy, like, let's say you're playing Lee's, you're walking to Scuttle Crab, you know where the enemy jungler is at 315. You just use your stun, which I mean, most of the time is fine because people don't really contest the Lee's, but if enemy team was ready for you and has like deep wards on you walking to the crab and they see you use your cocoon, you're just that much more vulnerable. Yeah. A lot of champions have spells that are both offensive and defensive, and if you use them in a bad spot, then you're gonna be in a rough spot and probably die for it or get punished mm -hmm. it's like right now using your e for the crab is fine your thresh is here we see everyone on the map yeah. you can get the extra dps and burst on it to finish it faster but when you don't know where people are and you're just like getting chased and using your spells you don't have to you're just that much more vulnerable if they are paying attention to your spells being used Here, I like to see you hold bot, which you end up doing good, but I think you should be able to read that earlier and not like walk to your walls and say, Oh, I have to hold bot. Yeah, you see that again? Like, you don't have to use your yeah. E there, you can hold it for the actual engage because I'm pretty sure Luna, if in this case, she just engages on you. Oh, they're the enemy bot lane, <laughs> interesting players. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine. It's a really low CD. You're playing Echo after all, so yeah, using your ult doesn't really matter. Once you're 11, your ult's like 50 seconds. CD is pretty stupid. Yeah, it is pretty dumb. Especially the fun so. <laughs> mid laner died. Mid lane is frozen. You run mid and push mid here. Why why do you think pushing mid is good here? Um well first of all it's free gold for me, free XP. And it creates pressure for Drake. Yeah, it's force it's forced them to respond to the wave or just go for Drake with being forced into not XP without vision from their actual yeah. waves. So you don't push mid, just walk here and nothing is being done. And no one's really responding to, no one has to respond to mid. Shen's just watch walking up with his alt up. Mm -hmm. We use our E offensively, and if Leona wasn't a uh, bot, we'd die there 100%. <laughs> yeah. Leona just flash Q autos you, or just R's or whatever, you'd 100% die there. You have no Merc Treads, you have no Tenacity Runes, you're dead. Mm. But do you see like how we've wandered around for like 40 seconds, accomplishing nothing? If yeah. we Even if the Drake isn't R's, just by pushing mid and forcing the enemy team to get a response is doing a lot more than actually 
walking around here saying, oh, you're going to take Drake anyways, I'll just watch, you know? Yeah. At least be efficient in doing your camps, pushing out a wave, or just actually contesting the Drake or clearing a ward or something to make to make them not as convinced the Drake is theirs. Okay. I'd say like 100% of the time, pushing mid is the best play there. Yeah. Mid priority is super overpowered in solo queue. No matter what elo you play in. So again, using your E offensively, if Thrust is in a position of lantern and Leona was here with Mobies and you don't see her there, you could die for free, so. Yeah. You don't have many deaths this game, but it's just... Kind it's of... just not the enemy team pun it, it's just the enemy team pun right. it. There's always the what if, you know? You have to play off the yeah. what if. Why give them a free kill if they were lucky enough to be in a random position? Why even yeah. use my spell there when I don't have to? If you really want to hit this tower, just walk up auto and then E backwards. Or if it's free, you can E forward, sure. But if you don't know where they are and you really want to hit the tower just to like, I don't know, alarm them or force them to come into you, you can just hold their E backwards. Yeah. Okay, what, what's your next build this game? The next item? Um, I think I go Lich Bane. So I can... You really love Lich Bane? Then why not reset right now and buy Sheen? I'm not sure why. I'm like, notice how, like, you, you give this red, you reset, you buy Sheen, and you walk all the way here. It's like five extra seconds rather than walk from here to here and be 1,000 gold weaker with a really strong component. Yeah. Do you understand that concept? Yeah, I see that. Even though the play's not going to happen, you would have been able to walk to your grob instead of actually doing what you're doing right now, you know? Mm -hmm. So just like, getting the proper resets off is really important. Yeah. I like this play going for Vayne is pretty good here. Because mm -hmm. Vayne can potentially beat him on the split, but yeah, he's kind of he's on kind of up three levels, so not sure what you're afraid of here. I don't think you can actually die. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have armor, so I thought. That well, I think York I just wins two v one, but yeah, I guess. so. You have to pay attention to the end, like the, the spells the enemy team is losing on your teammates, and then that gives you an opportunity to actually walk up. <clears throat> some spells are harder to actually keep track of, like Warwick Q and like melee range or something. But like something like Shen Taunt is like a fight change, right? You have no ult, you have no tenacity. If you walk up, yeah. you get taunted, you're dead. So you have to be able to keep track of that. So you can actually re-engage. I mean, you enter that fight with like 2,000 gold. You would have had your Sheen, something extra to actually help you combat a bit better. If the reset timer was done properly here. I think at this point you can definitely sell your refillable. I, I saw refillable like even like on my on my first reset, it gives me like an extra long sword or something. Okay. But that just comes down to like proper pathing or not proper proper clearing, being as healthy as possible. But past yeah. fifteen minutes always saw refillable just for the pinks or the you don't really need refill but anymore, it's 125 HP. Mm -hmm. Over 12 seconds times two. So the, you guys have pushed and bought for so long. I mean, sweeping isn't, it's always good to sweep, but I don't, you should know there aren't probably wards deep because you've been, your Yorick and you were like here for so long. You should probably walk into this quadrant of the map and then drop your sweeper if you're free. Mm -hmm. Really gets your ult off, but pretty 
Yeah, that was pretty lucky. Pretty good, I guess. If you really like like AP, I could can go like secondary tenacity with like could gross for lost stand. I've seen people do. Mm -hmm. But you just tanking that much damage and slowing for that long was good enough. But I mean. Yeah, maybe versus like their comps that would have been nice. We do have a lot of CC. Yeah, or if you even ult you. I think if you ult you, you just 100% insta die. Yeah. Or just came up. So, where does that like almost throw happen? Was it like mid game or? Um. I don't actually know. I feel like maybe I was just. I just remember thinking that we were gonna end up losing the game at some point. I don't know why. Maybe I was just tired. Yeah, it looks like you guys were winning from start to finish, but a lot of different things have happened for better. Yeah, I think Zork got, got cut out a few times and they gave up some pretty big bounds. Right. So refillable, like, I think Lich Pain's like 400 or 450, I forgot how much, I don't never build that item, but... Yeah, it's 450 for me, right? Yeah, you could've probably just cleared these three camps, got in it, maybe bought an extra pink or something, but... Pings are just like really strong and slow key. Like, yeah. the higher MMR you are, the more useful they are, but once you're like Diamond Plus, I think pings are really viable. Just getting like one, a recall is really good. It's not like, even I get like games where I get cheesed on Baron, enemy team is like super behind. They just randomly drop pings, clear top slide, and just cheese Baron and one shot yeah. with like a Cassie or something. So, just like buying a ping and placing on. Baron just stops that possibility, or you can also go for the play yourself. So. Okay, not a fan of red buff, I would assume. I think you already have one, but just getting level closer to 14 is not okay. the worst. And having it respawn faster. Yeah. User W on the camp. Now to wait 10 seconds if that fight actually happens. Yeah. That's why it's better to use your Q to check rather than your W. Okay. So you can actually see the Runic Echoes proc. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're engaging. Pretty good ult, but again, very close. Down to the wire close. If enemy team is, if enemy team is a bit more strong or you're a bit weak, more weak, you can probably die there. Yeah. Not too sure if this was worth it, because I flashed. Oh wow, I died. Oh, I that was not worth it then. Um, I think it's... I think it's good. I think they can actually get bot and hit, but they go for Baron instead, which is just as good. Yeah. When you have a York like this sad, it's really easy to just do Baron's like two man with them. So you have to like know what champs are really strong at doing Baron. Like Ziggs, when you have an ADC mage, most of the time, 90% of the time, the mage is terrible doing Baron, which I mean, Ziggs' case, not the worst because it has like Yandri's, but. When you have like, I don't know, Syndra or something with no Leandries, you do Baron really slow. You have a Sen ADC, you do Baron really slow. But there are champs that are actually like bruisers like yours that do Baron really fast. So you have to like understand that concept. Same with Cassio, really strong mage at doing Baron. Mm -hmm. So when you're when you're saying like, I'm in games where like I feel like we're going to lose. When it does a head, just like orchestrate a 20 minute, 25 minute Baron or so. Just drop the words and get the pink okay. I talked about, talked about. Just two men Baron. Helps you close out the game really, really easily. Just At this point, you should guys should be going bot or one three winning. You have two strong split pushers, Jax York, but you don't even have to split because they're so behind. I think I go for this dragon. Hmm. What am I walking? 
Thank you, Walking Dead. Can you get some shoving this? No. You should always sweep in this area. You're entering dangerous territory and using your E for no reason again. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. See the concept of like walking using your sweeper and not like walking up using your E and then sweeping? Mm -hmm. It's just. We don't have any vision at that point. They, they were like rotating towards mid and such. You don't know where they are. They could have all been in this brush. Mm -hmm. You know, higher MMR you'll see people like setting up traps and such, but you should never go that aggressively head first without the. Tenacity runes or Merv Shreds. Yeah. You gotta just ult it there for HP as well, but all that really yeah. matters. You ult is such a low CD at this point, you can ult for HP off a trade or something. Or, like, if you get Clouds late game and you're level 16, just use your ult for every trade off every wave. Yeah. That game was a bit better, but still like same weaknesses from game number one. Mm. So I'm gonna send you that game two. Oops. All right. Is there anything else you want to go over? Any questions? Anything? Um. No, I think that's it. All right. Um. Well, try what I said. Let me know how it goes. I'd say maybe go cart this a shot, but it doesn't really fit your playstyle because you always like play for your team. Yeah. I think you should. I think you should take the selfish approach a lot more when playing champs like Echo and such. But okay. Maybe go cart this a shot. Actually, I did play him, but it got remade. Yeah, I played him a few times. I think I had like three games on him. Yeah, Karthus is the epitome of selfishness. So if you can't become a selfish player, then don't even bother playing him. Yeah. Alright man, well let me know if anything comes up, if you have any, any other questions between now and next session or whenever, just in theory. Let me All know right. if things go good, bad, whatever. I'm here to help you out. So. Thanks. Alright man, have a good one. Thank you. Alright, yeah, you too. Bye.